What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Beamer Barn. On today's episode, we're gonna be working on my 335i and doing part two of the transmission service. Now, if you didn't see part one already, we just did the fluid pan and filter. So that's a typical drain and flush. Now, after I got the car started with the new starter, I took it for a drive around the neighborhood and I could still feel this hesitation. And I would kind of describe it like the car has like a pressure leak somewhere because it, it doesn't exactly feel like it's trying to switch gears. Um, but it, it just has like a, a pressure release and build and release and build and, and you feel the car sort of lurching forward no matter what gear you're in I think and, and even with the cruise control on it's just a little lurch so we're gonna see if we can fix that today by pulling the transmission pan off again and we're gonna pull the mechatronics unit down and we're gonna replace the seals that are under there because those have a lot to do with the pressure that's sent over to the solenoids. Now in other news, we just hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you everyone for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all of you. You are all part of the history of this channel being part of the first 1000 because we are only going up from here with a lot more videos to come, a lot more builds planned. And I can't wait to bring you guys along the journey with us. Now in regards to the 1000 subscribers giveaway, our winner was Ray Young. So congrats to him. He bought a sticker off the store and also commented on the video. So stay tuned for more giveaways in the future. Ray chose to go with an AUC sensor for his X5 and also a Beamer Barn shirt. So that was the $100 giveaway for our 1,000 subscribers. Who knows, maybe when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we'll do a $1,000 giveaway. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and check out the Beamer Barn store. We have some merchandise, aprons, and stickers down below and our new mug. But without further ado, let's get straight to part two of this transmission service. I'm not gonna show you guys the drain and fill procedure. I'm just gonna focus on removing the mechatronics unit and doing the seals. So let's go ahead and get that done now and I hope you guys enjoy watching.
And guys, before you torque down this Mechatronics unit, you wanna make sure that your gear selector switch is in the correct position. So that's this little piston right here. I've got all the bolts backed in, but threaded in like a quarter of a turn. So it's holding the Mechatronics unit up and you can see that this uh, piston here has to line up with the shift mechanism. So uh, that arm there is part of this outer assembly. And then this piston in here is the gear selector switch. So you wanna make sure that these pieces are aligned when you put this unit up. Otherwise you should be good to go. And then go ahead and start torquing all these bolts down. There are eight Newton meters for the long ones and six Newton meters for the short ones. And thanks to the magic of editing, we have the transmission all ready to go. The fluid has been topped off and we're ready to get it off the quick jacks and take it for a drive. So let's go ahead and find out if that weird transmission surge issue is gone. If not, then you know it might be the solenoids, but those things are really expensive to replace and I don't have any fault codes indicating which one or if any of them could be bad. So we're gonna try these seals out first. Let's go ahead and go for a drive and hopefully it runs good. Alrighty guys, live reaction. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be a little annoyed, but it's an automatic. So what, do, what are you gonna do? At the end of the day, you know, just manual swap it. That's my idea. So far, now we're just getting out of the neighborhood. Oh, maybe. I don't know, I don't wanna. All right, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna think about it. We're gonna get out of the neighborhood first. We're gonna see if it's doing that thing or not. Now, one thing to think about too is that this transmission has adaptations. So we could easily just need to drive the car enough to get the adaptations learned to the new clutch pressures and all that. You know, it's not gonna make a huge difference if you reset the adaptations, for example, but it might make a little difference. Try fifth gear. Oh, fifth gear, I feel it. Oh man, that's boost right there, guys. So you know what, guys? I'm gonna give you my final thoughts here. Um, seems like it's kind of reduced that surging. I'm gonna keep driving the car though, obviously after we do a whole bunch more work, we have to do the oil pan, the turbo rebuild, water pump, stuff like that, but it's, it's still there. It, it's very slight though. I'm not sure if this is an adaptation uh, circumstance. So maybe later we'll grab the input and see if we can do a transmission reset or a, a, a relearn procedure on this thing maybe that'll help otherwise you know my my choice would be if, if I had unlimited money I would maybe buy the solenoids replace all those see if the issue goes away but at this point no codes no problem and the car drives great doesn't have any transmission codes doesn't have any any issues it's just something that I feel um, maybe some someone wouldn't feel it driving the car, but I would obviously let them know, hey, you know, it's an automatic transmission with, with 137,000 miles. It's original, original torque converter, everything. 
Um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it needed some service or, or possibly a rebuild, let's say at like 150, but automatic transmissions are, are pretty cheap to come across if you just wanna grab one that's running and, and throw it in and they'll last you, you know? So I don't think that this transmission is gonna fail anytime soon, you know, fingers crossed, knock on, knock on this wood trim, but at least we did the service, better fluid, gonna do a transmission relearn later, see if that helps it. Otherwise, shifts really good, really strong, goes into gear good, doesn't miss anything. And I feel like, yeah, we, we did a good job of servicing it. All right, well, this car is pretty quick, so we're not gonna push it around the neighborhood, but Man, those boost noises are just addictive. So guys, that's gonna conclude our video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know that we didn't 100% fix our transmission, but you know, like I said, we take what we get and in the end, we don't have any fault codes, the car's good to drive, and we definitely helped elongate the life of this transmission by at least putting fresh fluids and fresh seals in it. And didn't hurt, did it? So if you enjoyed watching, leave a like or comment down below what you think that this issue could really be if you've had it on your car, maybe you solved it once before, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. I hope everyone has an awesome day and we will see you in the next video.